Hi, it's me, Balasandra Chandru, Customer Success and Training Specialist from Open Learning Global. In this video, I'm going to talk about classes. All right, uh, let's come back to my screen here. So what is actually a class? Class is like the cohort, a okay? group of students who are taking the course together. So in your course, you can create multiple class. To create uh, or to view or create a new class, you just need to go to the course setup. Yeah, like the one I'm showing in the screen and click classes. Okay, here in this page, you can view all the classes that created under your course. As you by default, you can see at least one class. To create a new class, you only need to click this button called create new class. So and it will open this tab. Here, you just need to give your class a name. For example, I'm going to call this class of 2024 July intake. All right. And then you also have a quick creation option. If let's say you want to use the same setting for other class, you just need to take this and choose the class. So I'm going to create uh, something fresh. So after that, choose enrollment type. Okay, do you want your course to be public? Like any student can join this class or you want to be private, which is you can create an access code and uh, you can give it to your student so they can join using that access code. Or you want to control the enrollment by adding your students manually in Open Learning. So choose the your enrollment type. And after that, uh, if your course is public, you can choose either you want the course to be free or paid. Okay, paid, of course, you need to set it up your um, Stripe account, okay, Stripe Connect account, then only you can set it up the price and everything. So I'm going to choose free for now. And once you're happy with everything, click create a course. Oh, sorry, create a class. And as you can see, a new class is already been created. So you, here you can view uh, your class status, your class enrollment type, start date, enrollment close date, end date, learners, comment, even you can delete the class if you want to. Anytime you also can come back to this page and edit your class settings. Okay, you just need to click edit, the one like I'm showing here, to edit your class uh, setting. So besides that, you also can change your future class, which class you want to be featured in your upper learning um, or your course landing page. And you also can filter by class status by clicking this one if you have like a multiple classes in your course. So beside that, you also can change your class or go into uh, different different class here, right? By clicking this button here. Okay, that's pretty much for class. Okay, so class is actually a very, very important setting in your own course. So one important notes here, so all the learner generated content such as your comments or your posts or group pages only visible inside the class where they are generated. Okay, they they cannot, you cannot see the same, your students work in the different class. For example, uh, learners from class of uh, 2024 cannot see uh, learners from class of 2024 July intake, so they cannot interact, okay, each student to their own class. Uh, besides that, note about the course content here, such as module and course pages is shared across the classes. But if you make any changes in the content, then it will be reflected in all the classes. All right, that's pretty much for the classes. So I want you to try create your own classes now. Pause this video and go to course setup classes and create at least one class. The floor is yours. So how that went? Did you manage to create at least one class? So let's say in future you have any questions or need any further assistance, you can always come back to our Open Learning Help community page to go through the help articles, or you can email us, call us, or even chat with us. Okay, that's it for this video. Until next time, bye.